Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tetrabit Gaming. Throughout Super Mario 64, we see many different oddities in and around Peach's castle. Mario comes across giant holes in the floor filled with weird liquids, a giant clock, fake walls, and various paintings all which teleport him to a variety of different lands. In this mystery bit, we'll be taking a look at the mysterious abandoned underwater city in Super Mario 64's Wet Dry World. This level is pretty weird in general. The main area of the level is a single large open room which almost feels like a tech demo at times. Not to mention the eerie, realistic looking skybox. Which is actually a picture of a city in Spain, but in the game it just feels off. Much like the Water Temple in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, this level's main gimmick is raising and lowering the height of dihydrogen monoxide in the level to reach various different heights and areas inaccessible in other elevations. However, there will be one caged up area which you can't normally get into no matter which switch you touch to raise the water level in the stage. There are however actually other relatively simple ways to enter this cage. One way is to launch yourself inside with the level's cannon, but that's the boring way. When playing in this level, you may notice that the water level starts out at different elevations sometimes. This is because the initial water height is actually dependent on how high you jump into the painting. So if you jump into the painting at the bottom, the water will be at its lowest point and vice versa. To enter the cage in the corner, you have to jump into the painting at the highest level in order to have the water at its maximum elevation. Only after this are you able to swim into the corner and jump right into the cage. After swimming down the cage, eventually Mario will reach what appears to be an underwater town that has either been abandoned or its inhabitants drowned. All that remains are buildings, some enemies, coins, and a power star. Then after lowering the water level, the town can be better explored. The town is made up of five buildings which unfortunately Mario cannot enter. The town also has a few remaining trees as well as a small court area in the center of the town with a strange pyramid statue which may have served as a monument to something for the city's dwellers. Just behind this court is a tall building, which is believed to have been the town hall or a church. A few enemies are also left here, notably a few idle kuromames. Kuromames, which literally means black beans in Japanese, are tiny black spheres which hover in place and expand, and then shoot a seeking fireball at Mario if he passes by. However, in this town, the present kuromames are motionless and harmless. Some believe that this was a mistake in level design, and these balls are inert since they always initially start submerged underwater. Other theories, however, believe that these motionless kuromames are actually spirits of those inhabitants that used to live in the city, doomed to spend the rest of their eternity in purgatory. Although unlikely, that would be quite the interesting theme to have in a Mario level. As a final interesting bonus tidbit, the doors on these buildings are similar to that of the doors seen in some places in Ocarina of Time and are actually believed to have been used as a basis for them. A sunken town. Empty, quiet, and forgotten. Another mysterious unexplained area in Super Mario 64. But that's all for today guys, and I hope you enjoyed this mystery bit. If you like the video and want to see more in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys for all your support lately. It's been great, and hopefully it gets even better. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit.